I am Mike Stanton. It's March 26th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Dan Bingham and Chris Flossie from BAM's Capital Markets Desks. Thank you for joining us, gentlemen. Uh, Dan, let's start with you. Uh, Muni's uh, kind of a contrast to the last couple of weeks, moved pretty much in lockstep with treasuries this week. What was uh, driving interest rates? Yeah, we finally found some correlation to uh, the interest rate environment here, um, which is nice. Um, you know, from a, a broad perspective, I guess the biggest uh, issue um, has been on the uh, congressional side as uh, people continue to um, uh, talk about the prospect of a fairly large transportation um, bill. Um, and within that, there could be some uh, uh, change in the tax code, uh, both on the corporate tax level, uh, possibly going to 28 percent. Um, and also on the individual uh, level, uh, there hasn't been a definitive uh, number cited, um, but just for people earning more than 400,000, uh, tax rates could be going up. So I think that's on the table and is something people are talking about. Historically, when tax rates go up, uh, we get more participation in the municipal market. Um, with the level that uh, munis are at today with 10 year, uh, the 10 year ratio at 67%, and 30 year ratios at 73%, um, you could argue the market is actually already pricing in some higher tax rates um, as we're trading at very, very uh, expensive levels. So I think that's probably the, uh, the biggest, most interesting part of, uh, part of discussion that's going on in the market. You know, away from that, it's been um, supply this week was uh, fairly heavy at 11.3 billion. Um, the one thing I would note is that of that 11.3, billion, 1.8 uh, was taxable. That's a lower percentage than we've seen. And I think what, we, what we're starting to see is the increase of rates that we've seen over the course of this year. Um, the taxable refunding component that was working very well last year is starting to be reduced. Having said that, there is a large uh, Cal tobacco deal um, coming next week. Um, so there, you know, in, in, with a certain names and certain qualities, it, it still works, but it's, uh, it's likely to be a smaller percentage of the issuance going forward. And you raise some interesting points there, because so much of the discussion in the muni market about what's happening in Washington is at, at a more micro level. We talk about whether tax exempt events or fundings will be reauthorized. We talk about expansion of bank qualified uh, uh, bonds. All of those uh, could impact tax exempt supply one way or the other. But uh, overall interest, overall tax rates on the corporate and individual side are probably what's going to drive valuation. And so it's uh, interesting that people are already looking forward to that. Uh, Chris, let's talk to you about uh, the supply picture. How did, uh, how did the primary market look to you this week? Uh, so this week, BAM was pretty active. We had nearly a quarter billion dollars of par insured for the week. And that was priced across 18 series. Um, we had a lot of our activity in the higher frequency states, such as California, Pennsylvania, Texas, and New Jersey. But we also had a little Alabama and Michigan sprinkled in there. Um, we did see sort of a pause in the competitive space with a lot of the deals already coming with AA ratings or on the smaller side, usually with a par of 5 million or less. I think there were only a handful of deals that we bid in excess of 10 million in the competitive space. And we expect that to see that we expect to see that flow into next week as well. Um, for BAM, some of the larger deals to note that we did a $65 million Rowan University deal in New Jersey with City. Um, and we also were on a portion of a larger San Jose airport deal. There were two underwriters that brought a transaction. We did 40 million of the taxable transaction with Morgan Stanley. And there were also two series of tax exempt bonds with Citigroup where BAM racked about 25 million. And that's an interesting trend to see uh, partial uh, uh, balances of the transaction, really an opportunity for the underwriter to, to find pockets of demand, uh, different types of investors who might prefer the insurance versus others who uh, prefer the uninsured uh, paper. Exactly. They're able to tailor the deal to the demand out there, and we're happy to fill in the spaces where we can. Very good. So next week is a holiday shortened week. There'll be an early close, I think, on Friday uh, for the uh, Good Friday holiday. Uh, what does the calendar look like? Uh, as of now, the calendar is about $5 billion, and as Dan mentioned, there's a larger Cal Tobacco deal that will be roughly $8 billion of that calendar. Uh, for BAM, there's going to be between $130 to $150 million of par in the market. Uh, two of the transactions to note are an Allegheny Community College District in Pennsylvania with Ramirez, and that's a $30 million transaction. And Raymond James is also going to bring a St. Clair County uh, Board of Education Alabama deal for roughly $30 million as well. Great. Thanks for the update. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you guys next week. Great. Thanks, Mike. Thanks.
market is unpredictable, BAM gives you certainty. In the face of market volatility and illiquidity, BAM insured municipal bonds deliver default protection, value preservation, and a durable AA rating from S&P. BAM's insurance protects against everything that causes a default, and adding BAM insured municipal bonds to your portfolio is easy. Talk to your investment advisor, visit buildamerica.com, or look for BAM eligible bonds on the Perform Portfolio Management System. BAM. Build America Mutual.